Hi, I am on day nine of my Advocare 24 day challenge. Um, and I didn't talk about calories yesterday and how I did. Um, yesterday I was right around the 1500 mark. Today I'm down to like 1300. Carbs, fat, sodium, I, everything pretty much doesn't seem to really deviate from day to day only because I. I'm kind of been eating the same thing. Sweet potato seems to be my go-to um, favorite food that I've been eating this week. I slice it up, put a little olive oil with pepper and sea salt, and I bake it, and they're kind of like chips, and I like that. I don't feel like I'm eating healthy when I eat sweet potatoes like that. Um, the half pound that I did put on two days ago has now come off, so Yay! We'll see um, when I do my summary after the total cleanse section where I actually end up. Um, I've been debating about um, video blogging about today's particular topic, and I decided I I, I need to I need to talk about this, um, especially because this week, the first week in December, is IBD Awareness Week, and. Um, I have friends and family that have Crohn's and colitis, um, which are um, irritable bowel diseases. And I've actually fundraised um, money and run two half marathons with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. And in fact, I, many of my friends are, are from the teams that I fundraised with. And two of my friends, Becky and Katie, are actually in training right now and fundraising money for, I'm doing a plug for you guys, uh, for the Miami Half Marathon February 2nd. So I'm gonna put their um, the link to their website because if you would like to donate money to help them, they're about halfway to their goal of 7,000. Um, it's tinyurl slash Becky and Katie. Or is it Katie and Becky? Becky and Katie. Um, and this week has really gotten me thinking a lot about my friends who have the severe forms of Crohn's and they just need to stay close to a bathroom all the time because that's kind of how I've been all week and what I've just grown accustomed to. And I guess I thought, oh, I know that this will be done, but I can't imagine having a disease where this isn't just done, it's how it is every single day, all the time, and there's no cure. And so being able to raise money for research to be able to find that cure, oh, that's really important. <laughs> Because I wouldn't want this lifestyle on anyone. Um, and I, I do want to let you know that even though during this cleanse, I have had to stay near the bathroom, that like my friends who've done the cleanse, this hasn't been their experience. This just happens to be my experience. So talking about bathroom, peeing a lot, and diarrhea, just isn't those are things I normally like to talk about, but I've had to really find some humor in, in, in all of this. So I'm going to talk about diarrhea and <laughs> for part of this blog. And there's actually a song, I guess it's from some parent movie or something about diarrhea and the kids in the car, he's like, when you're sliding in the first and you feel the sun burst, diarrhea diarrhea but there are like tons of other verses out there and some of these I think are these are funny so when when you think your friends are joking but your pants are brown and soaking diarrhea diarrhea uh, some people think it's funny but it's really wet and runny diarrhea diarrhea so I have had the sliding scale of diarrhea from day one which really freaked me out because I'm driving in my car, I'm two blocks from home, and I go to fart, and then all of a sudden I'm like, that, that doesn't feel quite right. That, mmm, that, that feels wet between my butt cheeks. That's, that's not okay. I get home, and like, like, wet brown liquid. Like, seriously, I've never, I've never experienced anything like that before. I hope to never experience anything like that. And I went through my underwear and I went to hang my dress up and there's like a little brown spot. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is, if this is what the cleanse is like, I'm like, I don't want to do this. So that's when I had called the company and I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I didn't even go to my Pilates class that night because I didn't want to be doing some sort of downward dog and like go to fart and be like, hmm, oops, diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea. I did not want that. So I just, I didn't work out that day. And the sliding scale from like liquid to 
as I talked with my personal trainer today, um, just not form complete bowel movements. They're just loose. Like, I've probably been mostly between, like, what, fours and sevens the whole week. But I'm used to, you know, completely kind of formed little, yeah, uh, poop. I'm used to having solid poop, and I haven't had solid poop. Um, and, and so <laughs> that's, that's been the weirdest part of, of the cleanse. I, and I understand that I seem to be the extreme case, but because I went reaching out for information on the internet, and no one on the cleanse seems to talk about that part, I will be the guinea pig. I will talk about it. Um, it hasn't detracted me from doing the entire cleanse. Um, in fact, I would do the cleanse again, only because I'd be really serious to know, would I have this, what I consider severe kind of end? Well, this is my severe end over here. Um, so I wouldn't discourage anyone because of my experiences from doing the cleanse. I would just advise you, like, don't start the cleanse on a Monday, maybe start out on like a Friday or a Saturday. <laughs> and if you are traveling, I would not start a cleanse while you're traveling. Things that I was just kind of dumb about because I didn't know much about a cleanse, those are the pieces of advice that I would pass on. Let me see if I can find another fun, um, <laughs> when your stomach is turning and your butthole is burning, diarrhea, <laughs> diarrhea. Okay, I just, th I just think they're all really funny. I'm sorry, I guess I must have a really gross, sick sense of humor. Um, so, uh, happy IBD Awareness Week. And if you do feel free um, to donate, please donate to my friends Becky and Katie. And also if you're watching the video and it's past February 2nd of 2014, um, you can always go to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America website. Um, every state pretty much have teams that are running half marathons and can use donations like all the time. So feel free to go there. I'll put the website on, on the comment section. So um, tomorrow's my last day of the cleanse. I'm looking forward to that. And... That's all I got. Thanks.